One of the epiphanies that I had recently was just how little effort I actually put towards planning my days. And this is something that I believe I struggled with since a very young age. Uh, I never had real accountability. Nobody actually uh, taught me or raised me to be accountable to my plans. So I could set plans for tomorrow and would almost certainly know that I won't uh, actually do what I planned to do. I was always very based on immediate satisfaction and basically strategized around me creating situations where I would make whatever it is that I want to achieve immediately satisfying. So I would either do it by removing all other distractions. For example, I would not, uh, I would remove uh, the TV, I would disconnect the internet, uh, quit Facebook, basically anything that might distract me, I would remove it and then what would guarantee that I would do what I said I would do would be simply boredom or, or lack of choice. Another way I did it was by setting up very uh, uh, punishing um, things that would happen if I did not live up to that goal. So that is how also you create an immediate reward. But what I never did was try to develop willpower uh, in the sense that I would decide to do something and then regardless of how I felt, actually do it. And this took me years to develop uh, until I guess like a year ago, it is something that I did not have. So I would have to create, again, very risky situations to motivate me because nothing else uh, would work. So a couple of days ago, no, more like a couple of weeks ago, I began the habit of scheduling my days. So before bed, I would sit down and plan out the next day and hopefully even the week ahead. A couple of things that really contributed to this was, uh, first of all, my having uh, me having a much higher degree of willpower than I did in the past. Secondly, my life experience where I became a lot more grounded after things that I went through that taught me that it is very important to plan out and it is very important to always be uh, wise, not just foolish and, uh, and uh, take risks, but also wise, sometimes even more so, uh, because it's not just about short-term success, it's about who in the long run won. So if you are taking massive risks and life is, you know, just kind of surfing life on the edge and then you end up crashing in your 30s or 40s, you didn't really succeed because success is a long-term thing that you can sustain. And the third thing that changed... So the third thing that changed my view towards planning was actually my girlfriend. So I've been in a committed relationship for over eight months now. And I've spent about three, four years in relationships uh, since I was young. Uh, the rest was just me, you know, living the single life. But this is the first relationship where I actually found a mutual um a truly long-term relationship where I could see myself developing with this girl and uh, creating a future together. So that really helped me become more grounded. And I find this habit quite amazing. So before bed or, you know, just at around 10 a.m. at night, 10 p.m., sorry, I sit down and start Open, opening like uh, a series of questions that I always ask myself. Uh, questions like, 
how was my day? <laughs> so did I have a good day today or not? Um, let me just open it. Did I do all my habits today? Uh, what three things that happened today am I grateful for? Uh, how can I be better tomorrow than I was today? What are the three main values that I want to express in my behavior tomorrow? Where did I excel today? Where did I fail today? What might, uh, what are the main things I want to accomplish tomorrow? How am I going to accomplish them? What's the plan? What could get in the way of me accomplishing these plans? How do I create a commitment that would make sure that I actually do these things? And so on and so forth. And then I proceed to schedule the rest of the day or even the rest of the week. And what's beautiful about it is that in the past, I would set up this ideal schedule where I would set up a schedule around how I wish I was. So, you know, the day, it would look very good, very promising, and then the day would start. And because I did not put any accountability into actually making sure that the schedule fits my personality and, and based on my history, I would actually do it and what actually, you know, makes me not want to do things and make sure to put that out of the way. I would just schedule stuff that is ideal, you know, like this, after this, after this, after this, and obviously one thing wouldn't work and then everything else would start crashing like dominoes and I would just get demotivated and not want to create a schedule again. And the way I do it differently today is that I actually put a ton of effort into making sure that I have the proper motivations to do everything that I want to do. So when I create something that I want to do, I make sure that I project myself into that future and ask myself, how will I feel at that moment uh, based on my experience? So at this hour, based on the events that just happened, what mood would I be in? So based on my history, 60% uh, of the time after I uh, wake up, I want to have at least 30 minutes of just not doing anything, just, you know, uh, listening to some podcast, uh, eating, you know, making a meal, uh, resting, watching just YouTube videos. So I want to rest and just, whew, you know, just put myself in a good mood. And I found that if I schedule something right after I wake up, I would almost certainly not do it because I would like to relax a bit first. So this is an adjustment. So I set up a 30-minute uh, proxy first that will allow me to rest, and then I set the goal at the, the event, and then I do it. Um, this is just one example of many in how you can actually successfully schedule your day, uh, again, by projecting yourself into that future and really looking critically at would you actually do it? So, you know, you could do it, but would you do it? And come out of the, you want to come out of the mindset that you're probably not going to do it. So instead of thinking, yeah, sure, I'll do it, just come out very suspicious and critical. And it's better to, you know, kind of err on the side of, I'm not going to do it. So I'm going to make adjustments to make it easier. For example, I'm going to give myself a uh, space before that to rest. Uh, I'm going to make sure that, you know, it's not very compact. I'm going to make sure that the event is easier than I thought rather than saying, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do it. So I'm just going to take the chance because if you don't have a good history of accomplishing your plans, it's very likely that you're not going to accomplish your <laughs> events now. <laughs> so you want to slowly build up that trust that you will actually do what you said you'll do. And again, you do that by starting light, uh, accepting your limitations, and making sure not to strain yourself too much. And again, the real, the real benefit of this is that you truly plan out your life. So whatever you choose to do tomorrow when you schedule your day, you're literally choosing how will your life pan out? You know, you may not have complete control over what happens, but what you do 
is equally, if not more, important than what happens. And by refraining from scheduling your day and avoiding it, you're basically saying, I'm bound to the whims of my emotions and the events of the day. So a person that does not schedule his day and does not have clear deadlines for things is going to become mushy, <laughs> basically going to go soft. Because unless you have something chasing your ass that compels you to take action, like a deadline with real consequences, if you don't accomplish it, or a framework that makes sure you actually commit yourself to doing certain things, you're going to gravitate towards the easiest thing at that moment, which might be wasting time on YouTube, uh, watching TV, or even if you do talk about, okay, I'm going to sit down and you know study, read books, you know whatever it is, you're not going to be as efficient as you were if you did set it up ahead of time because one of the questions that you ask is, what could distract me? And you can actually create um, ahead of time it guarantees that you're not going to have distractions, which, again, is really, really cool. The idea that you can project yourself into the future, figure out all the possible options. You know, obviously, you don't have access to all of them, but the, the most likely things, again, what would make me not want to do it? What would make me excel at it? What would distract me? Infinite amount of questions that allow you to focus, and you, can, you should ask as many as you are comfortable with, and this is how you create your life. So again, scheduling is the bomb. It's really awesome <laughs> in case you're not doing it yet, which most, I think most action people don't. Um, I highly recommend you start adopting this habit and let me know if you need help with it. Anyway, um, just kind of a plug. Look in, at my description for this video. You'll see lots of stuff that I offer, some for free, uh, some are paid. And I hope you subscribe and enjoy the rest of the content. I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching.